Today on Made to Hack, I disable a microphone. This is a Xiaomi Mi Box S 4K HD set-top box. In other words, one of these streaming boxes you can use for your TV. It's also one of these official Netflix YouTube ones that just run right out of the box without having to hack it or anything like that. It also comes in with the Google Assistant remote, which um, is sort of like the Alexa or the Siri where you uh, speak to it and then it, I guess, figures out, uh, you know, you can command it by speaking to it. Okay, so box, this is the actual streamer device itself. It's you know, small and tiny. And it's got a uh, remote, and that's the, the remote. This is what you would control all the apps and inside the, uh, the Google Android TV OS. The thing is it also has a dedicated button for the Google Assistant, which you would press, and then you would speak into it, I guess, and it would uh, take voice commands. I'm not too keen on having an, yet another spy device in the house and that's why I want to disable uh, the Google Assistant microphone. Now you might say, well, why don't you just disable it in the software? And I do, but uh, you know, you can't be certain for sure that it's not still recording. So I figure I'm going to open up the remote, see what's inside and um, and then and, and see if we could disable the microphone. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to take it out of the uh, packaging. And then I was watching another video, the previous remote, somebody had removed the, the, um, the jog wheel from the outside. I don't think this one works that way here. I tried it earlier, but it doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to take it apart and see what's inside. So you're going to need like a sort of a micro screwdriver, uh, maybe some kind of plastic sputter. I'm just using this old like piece of plastic here from like a SIM card. And uh, I think you would need a um, sort of a Phillips zero screw head. All right, so remove the battery compartment here in the back and remove the two AAA batteries. Of course, it doesn't actually come with Panasonic and a loops. <laughs> you can pick those up if you want down below, but it comes with no batteries, of course. And then uh, it has two screws right here towards one end or the bottom end of the remote. So I think these are like Phillips zeros or small. So I'm going to just remove these. Let's put these here so we don't lose them. Okay, the first hurdle you have to overcome is about, I don't know, maybe 30 millimeters up, about one inch up, there's these, um, sort of these, um, I don't know, I guess these latches or these uh, tabs here that you want to try to remove. Not remove, but I mean just kind of open, sort of. Try pressing in your plastic spud tool, sputter, spudge tool, or just use something just to kind of get in there. You might want to start as you can see it's sort of making a little bit of space okay just kind of use it and then it'll see that the tabs will just kind of snap out so just and then just kind of run your um, plastic tool around the edge and it'll um it'll start to disassemble essentially you just want to slowly work your way around with the plastic tool, plastic spud tool. Every once in a while you'll see other tabs at various points. And try to just kind of alternate both sides so you don't open one side too much. And then we'll um, And granted, this is more than likely avoiding your warranty for the uh, the remote, but you know, uh, 
Again, we want to uh, disable the microphone, so get more tabs on both sides. Okay. okay so here it kind of uh, tends to stick towards the end. I think this is where you gotta it's gotta be a little more careful. It's got these uh, more larger tabs on the end. Oh, I think I broke some. Clipping sort of the, these tabs. I think I broke some more pieces. <laughs> I suppose you could always just glue it back in the end, but okay. Okay, so that's the end. Okay, right. So I think I broke this tab here. Okay. So that's that's it apart. I'm gonna turn this over, and it just kind of did all fall out. All the buttons. So these are the uh, the hard plastic buttons. This is the, I guess, sort of the track pad, track wheel, and uh, also hard plastic button. Okay, all plastic button, and of course we have a rubber membrane, which works on these uh, the dome uh, buttons here. Okay, so that just goes over there. These uh, dome switches. And um, okay, I'm gonna remove the uh, the PCB. You might want to be careful here so you don't bend the battery tabs. Oh, that's uh, okay. That's I guess that's from over there. Oh, well, probably re-glue those in. Okay, so that's the PCB here. Uh, as I mentioned, you would of course speak into the remote up top which uh, there's a rubber piece here with a uh, it's got some kind of hole it seems to be a channel um, for the sound uh, to sort of go in and here we could see a, a SMD a surface mount uh, microphone so this is what we want to disable what I would do of course is um, what I would do is I'd rather, of course, desolder the, the, the surface mount uh, microphone. You know, you do something like, um, you know, a hot air rework station and remove it to be sure that the microphone is completely disabled so it wouldn't work. However, I'm not sure how the operating system or the software on this remote uh, checks for the microphone. And if it's missing, it might give error messages, it might not boot, it might just completely uh, make the remote not function at all. So rather than do that, the next best thing I thought of is to, um, well, to fill in this bit with, um, with, with some hot glue. And maybe even the remote itself, this whole area with some hot glue. It would not 100% nullify sound coming in. I mean, I suppose it could still pick up vibrations or some, you know, a little bit of sound from the surrounding. It's probably going to be minute or negligible, but um, rather than risk desoldering it and maybe even damaging the buttons and possibly ruining the remote, uh, this is the next best thing that I'm coming up with is just to fill this rubber piece and the holes and maybe even the remote with hot glue that way hopefully we'll stop any sound from um, propagating okay so this is the well I'm just using a hot glue gun here I'm going to uh, well actually I'm going to I think what I'll do is uh, so what I'll do is I'll fill it in and just put it right on at the same time. Fill it in and stick this right over it at the same time. I said. Let the glue, hot glue go in everywhere. And at the same time just add a dash up here in the top hole. Squeeze it in while it's still warm. 
Okay. So that should, for the most part, just kind of cover any sound propagation. I might do just a dab of hot glue around here and there. That should be good. Again, um, won't stop any vibrations from getting through, but it's probably more than enough to attenuate the sound so that it's, if it is recording, it's nothing more than or maybe some low frequency rumblings, perhaps, or is it high frequency? I'm not sure which one. So I guess now it's really just a matter of reassembly. I don't think I'm going to glue these two bits here. It'll, it'll probably, um, it'll probably go back together. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna test that all the, uh, the buttons work now. So first off, power off button. Okay, so that turns it off. Okay, the jog buttons still work. Uh, down, side, side up. The center button works, the back button works, the apps button works. I don't know what the zero does. Um, volume up and down. Guess the Netflix button. Yeah, that'll work. And, kind of that. and the most important, the Google Assistant. So we'll press it. And I'll say, how can I help? Testing one to three, and I'm speaking into the microphone, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, Google, Google, play a YouTube video. Search for funny videos. What's the weather? Send feedback. Find Dave Jones. Hello, testing one, two, three. So it seems that the microwave is in microphone. Sorry, is indeed uh, uh, disabled to to a large extent. It doesn't seem to want to function. Test. Hello. Yeah. Hello. All right, so that's that's the um, that's how to disable a microphone on the Xiaomi Mi Box S uh, microphone, and it, you know the case came together. Okay, it's not super noticeable, and it still works. So I guess the uh, the hack is good. All right, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.